take a square paper and draw a diagonal take a square paper draw a diagonal and cut through it we can get two triangles what the specialty of these triangles they are right triangles now when we join one over the other we get two similar same triangles they have equal area now can you make a square yes we can make a square like this make a parallelogram we can make a parallelogram whose area is same as area of the square now make a triangle like this we can make a triangle here area of this triangle is same as area of the square listen here area of this big triangle is same as area of the square by joining we get a square and like this we get a triangle now similarly we can do the same experiment for a triangle rectangle also so you can cut a rectangle and do it from your home now take a trapezium we can take a trapezium children you know of one pair of opposite sides of a trapezium are parallel one pair of opposite sides of a trapezium are parallel now mark a point on this side mark a point on this side join to the opposite vertex and cut through that we get a triangle and a quadrilateral now place the figure like this what figure you got you got a big triangle whose area is same as area of the given trapezium they have equal area children this are the practical method cutting and joining are the practical method so we have to find out a theoretical way of making a triangle equal area to the given figure given quadrilateral so look at the example you draw a square draw a square a b c d one side five four centimeter draw a square of side four centimeter draw a diagonal diagonal b d listen this is the important session you note down the points method of drawing draw the diagonal square draw the diagonal b d draw a line parallel to b d through c draw a line parallel to b d through c you see it's a square and scale itself and extend this ab extend ab till it meet the parallel line now join the new point to d new point to d you can give it as the point p so listen you get this figure this is the theoretical method of making a triangle equal in area to the square first draw the diagonal bd you know down the point draw the diagonal bd draw a line parallel to bd through c extend ab till it meet the point meet the line then mark the meeting point as p join dp join dp then this is our new triangle that is this triangle includes the diagonal also so you must shade that triangle this triangle apd triangle apd have same area to the square triangle apd have same area to the square we can convert a rectangle into a triangle of equal area convert a rectangle so four centimeter one side and other side three centimeter you draw a rectangle children draw line ab then take 90 degree on both sides then 3 cm now as in the previous case we can draw the diagonal bd and draw a line parallel to bd to c the same method same method is used then extend ab till it meet a point mark the point as p join to d here also we get triangle apd whose 
area is same as area of the rectangle. Area of the triangle is same as area of the rectangle. Now, here we take square and rectangle. Instead of that, we can take a quadrilateral. So, children, draw a quadrilateral in your notebook. Take the notebook and draw a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral, all sides are different. A, B, C, D is a quadrilateral. All four sides are different. Same method we can apply here. Draw the diagonal B, D. And draw a line parallel to B, D through C. Extend A, B. Mark the point P. Join to D. So, triangle A, D, P. A, D, P. Is equal to quadrilateral area of the quadrilateral A B C D area of the quadrilateral A B C D area of the triangle equal to area of the quadrilateral A B C D. So this is the method of constructing a triangle equal in area to the given quadrilateral. Similarly, we can convert a trapezium into a triangle. Use the same method and parallelogram into a triangle like that.